Welcome everyone to the Model Frontier. We're here with pack 15 of Agora Models, Build the RMS Titanic. If you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss a second of any of my great content. First of all, I want to thank everyone for the for showing who showed up to my live stream on the 20th. It was a lot of fun. I'm going to be doing another one sometime in February. Stay tuned to the community tab for more details on that. Uh, also, I'm honored to be... Also, I'm honored to let you guys know that I was nominated and won this year's uh, annual second annual Partworks Award Show uh, for best up YouTube up and comer. Is that what it's called? Best upcoming YouTuber. That's what it was called. I won best upcoming YouTuber this year. So, um, thank you so much for the folks that nominated me, and thank you for the win. It's quite an honor for that. I wasn't the only one that won it. Uh, everyone who was nominated was a winner, but. You know, it's just a lot of recognition. to be. It's great to be recognized for what I've been bringing to the table. It's great to see that so many people like it. And I'm just happy to keep doing this. So thank you all for doing that. And I look forward to sharing more of this great journey with you. So if you remember last time, we pretty much finished all of the A-Deck Promenade. And we added to our hull and got our hull to be about halfway as big as it's going to be um, when it's all said and done. If you haven't looked at your boxes yet today, we've got some pretty giant pieces that we're going to be working with. That's right, we're going to start getting the superstructure section. So we're going to start getting that secondary white section that, we, that actually defines the levels of the ship. So it's going to be quite a lot to do. We do have a lot of modifications to do on some of this, and we're going to be doing stuff out of order. I'm going to be using a lot of stuff that I've gotten from the folks over at China 3D to really make these sections pop. So I hope, I can't wait to share that with you. Before we can, however, we've of course got to answer our Titanic trivia question from last time. If you remember, the question was, how many feet or meters wide was the Titanic itself? Was it A, 86 and a half feet or 26 meters? B, 90 feet or 27 meters? C, 92 and a half feet or 28 meters? Or was it D, 103 feet or 31 meters? The answer, of course, to that is C. Titanic was 92 and a half feet or 30 or 28 meters wide. As a little bonus for you here, just to let you know, that means that our model, by comparison, is going to be a, a little over five and a half inches or 14 centimeters wide. And once we get through with this part, with this pack, I'm sure you'll appreciate just how big that is. So let's not waste any more time. Let's go back to Titanic. So here we are with stage 81, and the first part of stage 81 is going to have us going back to our promenade deck. We're going to be adding a little something to this part right here. Before we do though, your first Titanic trivia question for today. How long was the transatlantic voyage of the Titanic supposed to take? Was it A, 7 days, B, 9 days? or C, 11 days? And we'll give you that answer at the end of stage 82. 
So you've probably noticed by now where this join here is, there's this wide open section. Don't ask me why, I'm not sure, but we have a piece here that we got in this, that we get in this pack. And we're gonna put it in to cover it. So very carefully, we're gonna turn our deck here upside down. Remove this wire out of the way here. And there's two pegs here and two screw holes. Obviously, you're gonna wanna put the pegs into these holes here. Help you line this up. And then we're gonna secure that down with two AP screws. Okay, now we got those in. If it's looking like a little like that, you kind of want to push it up a little bit just to get it in there. But now that that's in, that's it for this part of the deck. Now we need what they're calling the bridge deck, but I'm going to call what it really is. That's right. We're going to start working on the superstructure. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, we are going to go a bit out of order here. And I'm going to explain to you why. You may already notice these plates here that I've put on. Well, this is a set from Woody's Model Works. It adds just a little bit more detail to your part. And I also put on parts from the KA set to add these little details that go into the inside. Otherwise, it just looks plain and white. Now why are we now why am I saying we're going out of order? Because you look at this and it's like, well, you kind of got it all on there, so why are we going out of order? Two reasons. First of all, with the Woody set, while you can definitely put the outer part on and it will light up, it will line up with the windows really well. First of all, you are going to have to cut off the stanchions here on on this because they don't line up here. And also, you will not be able to put the back side of these parts on because there's all sorts of things on the inside here, like these, which are going to be needed later. So, that's why I used the KA set in these parts to just add those little details in. And I used the Woody set on here. But now, the question you gotta be asking is, so why are we going out of order? You got it all done, you could probably paint it and continue on in order. Well, the reason for that is because... If we take a look at this piece from Woody's, which is the next section, because it comes in different sections, you can see it hangs off of here. So what we're gonna do instead, before we put this on, is we're going to join the front section with this middle section here. So we're actually gonna be doing stage 82 in this stage, putting them together. And then I'm gonna, so I'm gonna do this part is going to be stage 81 with the superstructure getting assembled. And then I'm going to show you how we add the additional details to it. And we'll continue on with the instructions for stage 82. So, and obviously I've already put the two, the lights in here, in these. You can see that the light panels are already in. So what we got to do is connect these two. So they kind of, it's a little tricky to get it in. But once you do, you'll be fine. You gotta kind of join them in a little bit here. And just kind of maneuver it into place till you hear it nice and click into place. We'll flip that back over. And then if you haven't guessed it, it's gonna be held together in these parts with six AP screws. And 
Now with this attached, that is where I am going to end stage 81. So we're picking right up at stage 82 with our superstructure section here and what we're going to do first is we're going to add our little bit of detail to both sides of this. Now I'm going to work on one side and show you a few things and then we're going to go to the other side and we're going to do and then I'm going to do the other side off camera. So the first thing you're going to want to do on the superstructure is you have all these sections right here that are kind of sticking out you're gonna to want to file those down so that this is nice and flat for your piece now I'm gonna show you on this side because I gotta do some stuff to get this one ready but the first point I would try I would tell you is the best way to line stuff up is you've got this curve here and you got a curve on the piece so just kind of line up the curves and that will line up the part. Now, again, if you do this, you will notice that again, these stanchions don't exactly line up. See right there how they don't line, they stop lining up. Now with these stanchions, you can see there's a little bit of a guide wire here. Uh, if you I'm not gonna tell you one way or another if you want to keep that you're gonna have to do a few more Special cuttings on this to get that to work um, But you can do it. I have done it and I've got it working So now I'm gonna go to the other side Which is the side I've got prepared. I don't have these filed down yet So I'm gonna go file these down and then I'm gonna sh show you putting how we're gonna put this section on to give it this extra detail all right now I've got those filed down now before we do anything else we're gonna actually do something that's gonna help bring these together a little bit uh, we got these kind of bracers here and there's two grooves inside here that we got to put these in it's basically gonna help pull this together better sure if these are directional or if there's a certain one that goes into a certain side but we do that on each side I'll bring that together and then I'm just gonna touch them on the bottom with my glue Like that now we're gonna talk about now we're gonna do this next part and I'm gonna have to zoom way out for it so so now we've got our part which as you can see when you start taking the supports off curls up in the back so what I recommend doing is do it in small sections. We're going to start off in the front with lining up the windows. And for this, I recommend you use a glue that comes with a brush. Uh, I've got this uh, Gorilla Glue, Super Glue. has a nice brush to it. 
it'll help you to put enough glue on to keep the piece down without putting too much on to really go nuts. So I'm going to go just along these flat parts here. Make sure you go over the join. And that's going to be our first section right there is, where we're gonna, is what we're going to do. So Get as straight as you can. Press it down. hundred percent perfect with these windows but we can always do something with that later we're just kind of getting the detail piece on first once you get that in the next section I'm gonna go from here to here to where it's starting to kind of curve out we're gonna put that part in next that and now we're just gonna keep putting it down try to keep it as straight as we can If you see a part that's starting to kind of come up, that's why I rec this is why I recommend using a glue with a brush because then I can always just go in and just kind of put a little more glue down where it needs it. Help kind of hold these in place. Now for this back section, we are going to go, I'm going to start off by just putting this bottom part down as far back as it goes because it's separated right now. So I'm going to go right up to where the piece ends. that part down now I'm gonna put this section down uh, with my rope because I managed to did I did manage to save that so I'm gonna put this down with it Thank you. 
just like that. Doesn't look perfect, but it looks good enough to me. And now I'm going to put some glue onto these stanchions just to kind of hold this part into place. Just like that, we got that detail on our ship, looking nice. Now let's flip this around and go to the inside part. So for all the inner parts, you're gonna use the G sprue from your KA set. And for this section here, you can obviously tell we're going to be using this big long piece right here. So we got our part G19 for this side is what I'm doing and just like before I'm just going to do one section at a time to get this piece on. It's going to be very hard to show it to you on camera so but I'm going to try the best I can. So there you go, with that detail on, and that detail good, uh, we just gotta do that to the other side, and then we're gonna have to, and then I'm gonna go paint it, and I will come back, and we'll continue on with stage 82. And just like that, there's the detail work on there, I don't know if it'll show very well on camera, but this just adds a little bit more detail work to this piece of the ship. It's not 100% perfect, but I'm satisfied with how it turned out. Uh, biggest piece of advice I can give you is take your time, go slow, and you'll eventually get everything. So now we're going to go back to stage 81, which focuses, which at the end focused on this section here, which you would obviously be putting your wood decking into. So... 
We're gonna obviously use our wood glue. I know Wayne says that you don't really have to when it's a small piece, but I don't ever want this the wood coming up, so I'd rather use the wood glue and not have to have it on there than have the piece come up in a few years. So I got a nice layer of the wood glue on that. Of course, we peel our wood backing back. And we're going to attach it by, we want to line up the front edge with the edge. We're going to put it on here. Just like that. And naturally you can see that there's some spots that are going to need to be filled in, which I will do off camera. So that would end stage 81. And then we would continue on with stage 82, which is going to focus in on this part on each side. This is actually the reception area and the promenade deck, the private promenades. And of course, we got wood decking to put down here as well on both sides. You got your piece all glue with the glue on it again we peel the backing off of our decking and put it in place go for as close to the center as you can because you still want these spaces to be open a little bit get as straight as you can get And that's it. You're going to repeat the same thing on the other side. And then that is all there is to do in this stage. So if you remember your Titanic trivia question. How long was the transatlantic voyage of the Titanic supposed to take? Was it A, seven days? B, nine days, or C, 11 days. And as anyone wa watched the movie knows, it would be take, it would have taken seven days for the transatlantic passage. Why are they turning? So here at stage 83, we are all about the front bulkheads on this stage. And we're going to start with these two here. But before we do, your next Titanic trivia question. Which officer actually received the telephone message that an iceberg had been sighted? Was it A, First Officer Murdoch? B, Fourth Officer Boxall? Or C, 6th Officer Moody. 
And naturally, we will answer that question at the end of stage 84. So as I said, this whole stage, we're going to be all about bulkheads. Now, these are the China 3D bulkheads for this section of the ship. So normally, it would be saying to screw these brackets into the back of the ship. But we obviously can't do that uh, with this. But I do want to use the brackets to kind of add some stability. So I'm going to move these over. We're going to bring over the section of the ship we've been working on. Now I'm only going to show you on one side how to do this and then you'll just repeat the process on the other. So what I want to do is I want to put one of these in so I can use this as a bracer to help kind of shape where this goes. Because if you see right, this will help hold it tighter in. Actually, that may not be possible. Yeah, actually, it's not going to be possible to do that. So we're just going to have to put some glue on here and hold this into place. Now, because we don't want this piece coming up, even though I usually advocate using a glue stick, in this case, I'm going to put glue on there and glue along the bottom longer edge of this Get that in place we'll put it into position here give that glue a chance to set Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. So I'll go do that real quick and then meet you back here. And there we go. Now that we got those bulkheads in place, we can set this piece aside because we have another bulkhead we have to do some work on. So here we have the C-Deck bulkhead. Now, this is a, another one of the pieces that they sell for China 3D. Um, I'm deciding to use that because it's more accurate. It has a lot more of the detail that you'd want. But what I'm also doing is using the base part of the bulkhead you get because on this one we now can put these in there we do have a keel pattern so they can only go in one way and each one is held down sorry each one of these is held down with an AP screw, and there's four of them. So go get those in, and then I'll meet you back here with what's next. Just like that. Now we're going to have to bring our superstructure back over. We want to flip it upside down. Because we're going to put this bulkhead on here just like this. Now this is going to be a tight fit. What we're looking to make sure of before we glue, before we screw this in, is if I flip this back over, that there's enough of this coming up. To show those details and it looks like there is so we're gonna flip that back over here and this will get held down with four i'm sorry 
And this is going to get held down with another four AP screws. Just like that. Now I know normally when it comes to plastic, I tell you to just go until you feel resistance. These you want to be in there really tight because they're going to help bring this piece up to where those details are just showing like they should be. I mean, it's not 100% perfect, but it is where it's supposed to go. And then we would have to put, and then they would tell you to put a light, a light bar on the underside, but we've already done that. So with that out of the way, that is it for stage 83. So with stage 84, we're going to begin work on both the first class entranceway and the private promenades. If you didn't know, uh, this the Titanic had two series of promenades um, that were private for the ultra wealthy. You have seen it. It's the room that Rose, Cal, and Jack stayed in in the movie. Fun fact, that was actually the room of J. Bruce Ismay. Now... Obviously, you would start by putting your windows in, and we already know how to do that. But you're probably wondering why I'm not showing you this piece in all of its glory. Now, I want you to take a look at the instructions for a minute. First of all, notice how plain the piece looks. And notice also that there is no separation between the promenade and the first class entrance. It's all presented as one piece. But the thing about the promenades is these were private promenades. So, obviously, not everybody could just waltz on in. That's why my piece has a wall here, which because I used those China 3D bulkheads, I was able to cut a piece off of the bulkheads we get and use it for that. But beyond that, here's what I want to show you. Look at the detail work I got into this. Now this is all from the China 3D group. They print out pages of the, they can print you out pages of this on different types of stock. Uh, you can get regular paper, you can get a thicker heavy duty paper, you can get sticker paper, whatever you want. Now, I'm not gonna lie, you will need two sets of this because you are going to have to somewhat cut these off and rearrange them to fit right because they don't exactly line up with the windows. But once you do, you can see you'll have something quite special. That And keep in mind, you will see this from the outside of your superstructure. So you definitely want to make sure that you make it stand out right the way it should. So with that done and the windows in and every and our windows glass glazed up, we are first going to have to put in some more of these braces. Yeah, this is a stage of braces. Uh, they only watch they only have you doing three on this one. And again, it's keyhole pattern, and you put it in with three AP screws. There we go. Now you'll repeat that on the other side, but again, because it's just a case of do on one side, then do on the other. I'm just going to show you me put show you how to put this in on one side, but just know you will do it on the other side. So naturally, we're going to bring over our superstructure, and the part I just did is the port side here, so it's going to go here, and it's basically a thing of just. Put the piece into place where it goes just like that we'll set that down in there and i will hold it in with some with three more you guessed it ap screws 
And that side's done, and you'll see, if we tilt this up a little bit, you will be able to see in there. So that detail is now in there looking nice and good. Uh, you'll do the same thing on your other side here. And that, so that'll be it for stage 84. Again, we would have to put a light strip down here. We would have to put this light strip here in place, but we've already done that earlier. So when that's done, that's it for stage 84. And now let's answer our Titanic trivia question. Which officer received the telephone message that an iceberg had been spotted or sighted? Was it A, First Officer Murdoch, B, Fourth Officer Boxhall, or C, Sixth Officer Moody? And the answer to that question, it was C, Sixth Officer Moody. He's the one who took the call to say when Fe Frederick Fleet said, Iceberg, right ahead. So here we are at the start of stage 85 and we're gonna be done with our superstructure for now. We're gonna focus more on doing some more hull work. And with this piece of hull, you can clearly see this is the section that's got our cutout where we're gonna see the engine room. So number one, you can tell that we're getting towards the end of the ship, the back end. And number two, now we're getting an idea of where our engines are gonna go. So this is an exciting stage. However, before we can begin that stage, your next Titanic trivia question is, what was the approximate distance in the daytime and nighttime sending range in either miles or kilometers of the Titanic's wireless? Ah, no multiple choice this time, guys. You're gonna have to figure this one out on your own, or you can just wait till the end of stage 86 for the answer. Now you're probably thinking that because this is just a single piece of the hull, all we're gonna be doing is just attaching it to the ship. But they do decide to throw a little curveball on us. They want us to put a set of screws into these two holes here, even though we're not really attaching them to anything. Now, why they're having us do this I have no idea, but I do have some theories. I'm thinking it's gonna have something to do with the magnetism, how the piece of hull that's gonna cover this is gonna magnetize to it. But at this point, that is what they want us to do. So we're gonna put in a pair of BM screws. just like that we put that section on put those screws in there and again I don't know why we got to put these screws in I'm guessing it's gonna have something to do with the with us doing our um, magnetizing the part later I'm gonna clean off my excess oil here Yeah, so now that we got those in, now, of course, we're going to go ahead and put this on our hull. So naturally, this piece is obviously going to extend right over to here. So just like we've done before with this, I'm going to tilt it onto its side here so that we can let gravity be our friend. 
kind of feel like I'm in the Poseidon adventure watching the ship tilt. And then we're going to put this piece in here on the two lugs there. And then just like before, that is going to get held into place with just two LM screws. go once you got that tightly in place I'm gonna tilt it a little bit to this direction you can see how much it's starting to hang off on this side but that is it for stage 85 So stage A6, as you can imagine, is going to see us putting on this second section of our hull, the black section. Just same thing we did before. Now the first thing you want us to do is, in these two screw holes right here, we're going to put in a pair of BM screws. Again, not sure 100% why. Going to guess it has something to do with the magnets, but... That's what they want, so that's what we're going to do. Just like that. So now we got our two screws for that in. Now, of course, we need to go get our hull and put the piece into our hull. So let's go do that. Okay, so with our hull section, this is going to be a little bit of a tricky part because we have to get, I don't know if you'll be able to see it there, but there's a lip here that has to go in front of the red part here while all this goes behind the black part here. So just like always, you kind of want to come in at an angle and then kind of tilt it up in there to get it to fit. Actually, that, in, that went in pretty good. And then we're going to secure this down here and here with just a simple pair of our LM screws. those in nice and tight that's all there is to do in this stage that's all there is to do in this pack but guys real quick just can we take a second to take a look at everything we've got that this issue accomplished for us I mean just look I mean we've got that entire bulkheads on we got the superstructure going if we zoom in here I mean it's gonna be tough to see but we've got 
the promenades. And if we continue on to the back, we get an idea of where the engine room's gonna go, what it's gonna look like in there, and just how much further we have to go before our propellers get out of our ship. So just take this all in for a minute here. Take it all in and how big this ship is, how big this model already is, how impressive it is. And look forward to what we got coming up in the next packs. So with this image here, we're gonna answer our last Titanic trivia question for this video. What was the approximate distance in the daytime and nighttime sending range in either miles or kilometers of the Titanic's wireless. And if you weren't able to figure it out, the answer to that question, it was 500 miles or 805 kilometers. So quite a big distance, but then again, not nearly as big as it could have been so that we could, so that maybe more ships would have come, but they at least got the attention of the Carpathia and managed to get 700 people saved, so that's good for something. So that's it for this pack of the build, and wow, what a lot of stuff we got done. You can see where the engines are going to go, so I mean, you can sort of start getting a sense of where the engine room's going to be and how big this thing's going to be. Uh, we've started the superstructure, so we're going to start seeing, I think we're going to be starting to see all of this starting to come together soon and really turning into the Titanic. So it's going to be a lot of excitement, a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure you are too. It's been a long journey so far. And, you know, we're getting towards it, towards the end here. But before we go, I'm going to leave you with a true false question this time for your Titanic trivia. It cost a pro true or false. It cost approximately $8 million to build the Titanic. It's a true-false question. You got a 50-50 chance of getting it right. So you'll find out the right answer next time on the Model Frontier.